So friends, if you're using a Mac and if you're wondering how to use Apple Intelligence writing tool in your Mac, then this video is for you. I am going to guide you through each and every step. Before that, if you are new to Karma Tech, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. Now, the very first thing you have to do is make sure your Mac is updated to Mac OS Sequoia 15.1. Because after 15.1, you will be able to use some of the Apple intelligence feature, which includes writing tool. Yeah. So currently I'm using a beta version, but you can go with the official version of 15.1. Now, once you have updated your Mac to Mac OS Sequoia 15.1, I'm just going to show you an example in notes application. Now, once you open any uh, application, which includes writing or typing like this, you can use writing tool over there. So let's say, for example, uh, if I select this particular text and if I want to check out grammatical mistakes, then how can I do that? Now, before getting into that particular part where can you access apple intelligence from so there are few ways by which you can do that once you select text you will get apple intelligence logo over here you can check out apple intelligence logo over here on the toolbar and if you go to edit option uh, you can also find writing tool over here now there is one more option after selecting the text you can just simply right click and if you go down you will find writing tool over here so there are multiple ways of accessing writing tool in your mac so usually I prefer going here. I'm just going to uh, select writing tool option. And there is one more change in terms of interface of writing tool. Now, if you're able to see this, describe your change option. If your Mac OS is updated to 15.1, then you won't be able to, you know, get this describe your change option. But if your Mac is updated to 15.2, then only you will get this additional option. Apart from that, uh, each and every option which you are able to see over here, will be present as it is. So yeah, getting back to the main part, which is if I want to check out the grammatical mistake, I'm going to select that particular text. I'm going to select Apple intelligence logo over here. And in that you can select proofread option. Now, if I select proofread, it will scan the selected text over here and it will do the changes. Now you can see few words are highlighted with underline over here. So it has already, uh, you know, made the changes. It has corrected the sentence. If you want to go back to the original way, how it was, you can always select revert option. But if you want to save the changes, you can simply select done option. So this is how proofread works. Now let's talk about rewrite feature. Now, as you can see, I have iPhone 16 article over here. Now I can write it in multiple ways. So if I select again, this particular sentence over here, and if I go to Apple intelligence in rewrite, uh, you get three options by default, which is friendly, professional, and concise. So if I want to convert this particular sentence in friendly way, I can select friendly. Again, it will scan the text and it will convert it in friendly way. I can go back to uh, the original way how it was. And if you want to make it in a professional way, select Apple intelligence, go to rewrite option. And in that select professional over here. So if I select professional, now it will scan the text again and it will convert it in professional way. So after that, concise also works similarly. All it will do is it will concise the message like this. So yeah, these are the rewrite tool which you get by default. But if you want to make some changes which are not mentioned over here. So let's say if I want to make this particular selected sentence in an angry way. So if you have updated to 15.2, then you can just simply describe your change over here. And I'm going to type make it angry and now it will convert that text in an angry way so you can you know try multiple things you want or you need and apple intelligence or writing tool will do it for you now apart from that let's take a look at other options which are available in writing tool now if i select whole article over here and if i go to apple intelligence if i select summary option it will summarize that complete note for me in short over here now you can see either i can replace it or i can just read it and close it and yeah that's summary for you again if i go to other tools if you want to uh, check out the key points from this article you can select key points if you want a list from the article you can select list if you want your article to be uh, in table form you can select table and within few seconds it will convert that whole article in table. So yeah, this is how a uh, complete writing tool works. Now there are a few things you need to understand. As I told you, uh, writing tool works in each and every application which has, uh, you know, writing option. Uh, but yeah, accessing Apple intelligence might be different. So if I go in pages application over here and if I select a text now, when I select text over here, you can see I'm not able to get Apple intelligence logo here or over here in the toolbar. But still, I can access Apple intelligence by simply right clicking on the text 
if I go down, you can see I get writing tool option over here or else after selecting the text again, you can go in edit and you can access writing tool from here. And later on, you can make changes whichever you want. So I have selected the text. I want to make it professional. I'm going to tap on professional and it will convert the text in professional way. Now you can see it has given the uh, professional output here. If I want to replace it, I can select replace and the text which I have selected earlier is now replaced. Now by pressing command Z, you can go back to the original way how it was earlier. So yeah, this is how uh, simple it is to use Apple intelligence writing tool in your Mac. And if you don't know how to turn on Apple intelligence, then I have already made a video previously. You can go and check it out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.